Chick, chick, chick a little, where are you going? Oh, it's looking. Look at all those little strange eggs. They're all buzzing around. Well, chick a little, those aren't eggs. What are they? They're bees. Oh, look where we are, y'all. This year at Dollywood, we have Huggabee. Huggabee. Hug a chicken, hug a bee. One of the sweetest fellas you ever see. This is Mr. Allen with Huggabee. Oh, we're going to interview him. Oh, I'm so excited. He's in Dollywood. Come over here, Mr. Allen. Yes, I'm doing good. You want to come out here? Can you come out here? We want to get up close and personal. This is so fabulous. They've got homemade honey. And I, we got bees over there. We got bees everywhere today. Everywhere. everywhere. So, so tell us about what you do and, and how you bring the bees here and the honey. Yeah, yeah. All that so stuff. we are uh, Huggabee Honey. I am the owner of Huggabee Honey. We love educating all kids of all ages. Uh, we bring an observation hive that roughly has about 30,000 bees. 30,000? Uh, uh, roughly 30,000 wow. bees. Now Woo. inside of their normal hives, roughly about 100,000 bees. So uh, this is just a very few, but somewhere inside of here is the one queen that rules the entire nest, which is a lot of fun. The one queen. The one queen. Wouldn't you know it? Yes. <laughs> yes. My goodness. So he's very smart. He knows that the hen rules the roost too. Yes. And also sorry. the bees. Now, now what's special about your honey compared to other things? Well, honey? ours is pure and raw. We literally do nothing to it other than just extracting it from the bees. So we, uh, we go to an extraction and then we put it right into the bottle. Uh, you'll see about a 35 pound block of wax here. Uh, we put our honey through something called a centrifuge which separates the honey and the wax and then we melt it down, fine it, so it turns out to this which is amazing. Then we repurpose it for the bees. So a lot of people use it for chapsticks, lotions, a variety of other things, but uh, we like keeping it in-house and uh, I really honestly don't have that much time. It keeps me pretty busy. I bet it does. It's so healthy, isn't it? It's and if it's from this healthy. area here, it's really good. Yeah, very good for yeah. your allergies. Very good for allergies. Exactly. Just make sure whenever you start taking local honey, try to take it about a month prior uh -huh. uh, to the allergies starting to get there. That'll help your body build an immune to those pollen and different things that you're going to be breathing in. That'll help wow. lessen the severity of the allergies for that season. Isn't so, that awesome? Yeah. So besides Dollywood, they, you yeah. have a site they can go to? Yeah, so HuggabeeHoney.com with hyphens in between. Uh, we're also local here in Sevierville, but we also take all of our... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. We're all family here. We just don't talk in improv. Yeah. We take our we take our bees. Uh, we bring them up April through August, and then August we bring them all back down to Florida, where we do a, a Brazilian pepper in August and September. Oh wow! And then uh, we help pollinate all the citrus groves and orange trees down there in January, February, and March. And then April we bring them all back up to do it all over again. I think he knows his stuff, don't you? Well, you know, it's tradition here yes. when you're with Miss Lily Chicken Lady. Yeah. We give you a chicken blessing, oh, chicken initiation so for being so <laughs> sweet. You know, like the, the honey, we have little honey bees over here that are in demonstration uh, in Dollywood in front of the Miss Lillians. But there's also, the Gristmill has really sweet, sweet things like the cinnamon bread. Definitely. There's only one thing sweeter, though, than yes. honey. You know what that is? What's chicken that? sugar! <laughs> chicken sugar! I want some honey! It can't be sweeter! That's right, Chicken Little. Oh, okay, Mr. Hugger B. Yes. Can you flap your wings for Miss Lily? Let me tell you all the story about Hugger B. Came to Dolly Hood to see Lily. for being here, uh, Alan. So you know amazing. what? You don't even need an emotional support chicken <laughs> when you have Alan and all the sweet honeybees here. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank That's a little so chicken, chicken sugar.